witchking.com. Here is a kit ray sword. This is the Molotok. And it's another one of the incredible swords of the ancients. Anyhow, this is one of his older pieces that sold out a number of years ago. Uh, you can see there, there's the Kit Ray logo right there. And it's an impressive blade. Out of all of his Swords of the Ancients, this one is the heaviest. Really, really solid. Very heavy. Blade is very thick. Let me turn that around. I want to show you the date stamp on here if you can make that out it does say 2002 there that's a really nice satin stainless steel and i have fully sharpened a number of my kit ray swords on my bench grinder and use sharpening stones uh, and you can make quite a nice edge just like you can with your stainless steel blades i mean knives Regardless of it being high carbon steel or not, the blade is so thick that it's really durable. But this is a one hitter quitter, not a dueling weapon. And again, they do say, oh yeah, it's, it's a stainless steel wall hanger. Okay, whatever. I'll sharpen his beast and slice a zombie in half because of the weight. It's more of an, something like an axe and a you will not be agile with this heavy sword. Look at that detail. I mean, it's really these unique features. It's like a helm there, some type of helm with eyes. And of course these beetles there. And this gold demonic piece going up there. And then this hilt has the griffins on either side. And you see another facial skull kind of embedded within there. And that grip is really impressive. The hilt is just a masterpiece. And this is all metal. It's not moving anywhere. It's very solid. Again, this is the sword is very heavy. I'm not sure what the weight is, but it's his heaviest sword by far. And he does have some heavy blades. Alright, this is a 2002 masterpiece my favorite sword designer kit ray witchking.com